Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I upgrade my projection headlights with LED bulbs. So if you guys been following my channel, you know that I upgraded my headlights to projector headlights. I installed 5,000K halogen bulbs, but then I upgraded to an HID kit, which was 6,000K. The HID kit worked really well for a few weeks, but then I started having some issues, so it's out uh, being covered by warranty. So in the meantime, I'm using the Philips Diamond Vision 5000K bulbs, which are okay. I thought this would be a great time to try some LED bulbs in the headlights. So I'll walk you through what I bought and how to install them and what they look like. Okay guys, so this is the brand new LED bulb kit that I just received. They're not that expensive. They're probably about anywhere from 25 to 35, 40 dollars. Uh, for a pair and if you're interested I'll leave a link in the description below on more information on where you can get them. So I have 9005 these are 6500k so they're super white and then I have some H7s for my high beam and I think these are 5000k's but they're made by a company called NAO I want to say it's now uh, which is really cool the quality looks really good the packaging is amazing. It has all the instructions on how to set it up. So let's install these. Okay, I'm gonna work on the passenger side because it has more access, whereas the driver's side's a little cluttered. But make sure you disconnect your battery before you start with the install. Let's start with the low beam, which is the 9005-6500K bulb. Okay, first thing you want to do is remove the dust cover, like so. Set that aside, twist off the old bulb, which is counterclockwise. Here it is, and then disconnect it from the harness. Like so. Okay, this is the new LED bulb. The 9005. This white piece is actually a little adapter so that way it fits into our headlights. If you do take the bulb out, this might still be stuck there. Just use a little screwdriver and you could pry it right out. So we're gonna connect it to the connector. And if you look carefully here, you'll see a plus and a minus. And if you look at this harness, the yellow is your positive and the black is your negative. So you just have to make sure this is inserted properly with the new LED bulb. Okay, so I just connected the new LED bulb and this will go right in, twist to the right, and it should stay in place. it, put the wires inside. So they recommend not to put the dust cover back on um, or you can make some holes because LED bulbs get really hot and it needs to dissipate the heat. If not, you're gonna reduce the life of your LED bulb. So now I'm gonna install the H7s and the high beams. Wow, these are really white. And then on the other side, I have the Philips, which is a little more on the yellow side. 
Okay, um, here's a shot of them in a somewhat dark garage. The right side is the LED and the left is the Philips Diamond Vision Halogen 5000K. And as you can already tell, the LED is so much brighter. Let's try the high beams. Oh, wow, that's a huge difference. Not bad. And I'm not even getting any errors on my gauge cluster either. Wow, I'm really surprised at this. That's the halogen, that's the LED. They both look white if you look head on. The LED is so much wider and you can see so much more light. That's pretty good. I wonder how it compares to the, uh, the HID, but I don't have any right now. But I think I'm gonna drive around with this for a bit because it looks really good. Look how brighter and wider it is on the right side compared to the left. You can see on the left you get some like yellowish orange and on the right it's just pure white and it definitely gives you more depth. Well there you have it, LED bulbs installed in my projector headlights. I'm a believer now, I really like the LED bulbs over halogen bulbs and HID kits. Well, specifically these NAO now branded LED bulbs. If you guys wanna pick this up, definitely go to the link below. I highly recommend it and it's not that expensive at all. It really changes the look of your car. It's really white, it's really bright and it doesn't really flutter any strange colors like HID kits. So if you like this video, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.